Marks right away. Barely even across the board on the start. Again, if your eyes are peeling into the middle of the pool, Hosu right there in lane four, who has that great butterfly with a white cap, doesn't have a weak stroke. No weak stroke. Every IMer has a weak stroke. She does not. She really doesn't. Olympic gold medalist in the backstroke, coming off the wall. Melanie Margalis to her left, actually to our left, in between the yellow lane lines. A very good backstroker. She was 28-1 in the preliminaries. Sydney Pickram in lane three was supposed to have been in the water. She did not swim. She got out of the water. She got 50. out of the water. So strange I've never things seen happening that. here in the women's 200 IM final as the fans come alive. Hosu was on world record pace at 50, and the two Americans trying to reel her in. Margallis in lane five, Madison Cox in lane seven. Well, that certainly opened the door for the Americans. Melanie Margallis having a great breaststroke leg. She's 32-9 in the prelims. There's Hosu. I, I, I mean, I hate to go back to something that might not be important, but I have never seen a swimmer at this level get out of the pool. After 50. After a 50. World record 206-12. As she makes the turn, the fans come alive on their feet at the Danube Arena. Don't think she's going to break the world record, but Melanie Margallis out there in lane number five, having a great shot at the medal. Can she run down Ohashi for the silver? Ohashi in lane number eight in second place. Margallis currently sitting in third. All eyes on lane number four. The Iron Lady coming to the Here wall. Here comes Madison Cox. And at the touch, Hosu with the win. And it was Cox that got the bronze. Madison Cox comes out of nowhere to claim the bronze. Ohashi the silver. And Margallis unable to keep pace as Hosu just blew away the rest of the field. Domination for Katinka Hosu. Complete domination. There's her backstroke. Second to third turn. Great transition. She learned so much at USC when she went to college there. Learned so much about swimming yards. And that's where those turns came into play there. Short course meters, she's been so dominant. Many, many world records there. Breaststroke, once her weak stroke. Absolutely not a weak stroke now. One of her, her, one of her best strokes. And look at Cox come in right there. Second from the bottom, going by Margallis. Margallis, if she even goes close to her time she did in the semi, she wins the bronze. Actually wins the silver. Ran out of gas, though. And then Madison Cox by 11 one hundredths of a second grabs the bronze over Margallis. The Americans finish third and fourth again. Pickram. That's strange. Strange, dude. I've Kat never seen it. Katinka, the sixth fastest time in history, becomes the first person to win three consecutive gold medals at world championships in this event. Just an absolute rock star, Rowdy. That's the only thing I can think of when she gets to the pool. Well, we, we, we've seen that tonight, Todd, haven't we? Yeah. We, we, we've seen the kind of domination over the last two or three years of, of, of individuals in certain events that are just unbeatable. It started off with Petey, and then you had Shoystrom, and now Katinka Hosu. It's, you know, you, you throw in Katie Ledecky, and it, yeah. I, I haven't seen this kind of domination in so many different events by single individuals in a long, long time. And there she is, the Iron Lady, giving this crowd something to cheer about.